Okay, now that you have your Zoom set up to access your Zoom, you'd go to zoom.us and then sign in. Once you're in, it'll come up to your profile like this. So you'll see that the first thing that you'll see when you sign into your Zoom. To schedule a meeting or to start your meeting, you're going to go over here and click on meetings. So to schedule a meeting, you're going to click on this button. It'll highlight into blue. Your topic is um, or your title of your meeting is what you want it to be. So it could just be um, holiday get together. And then you can put a um, description. You don't have to if you want your family or friends to know what that is about. Then you're going to want to select the date. So if it's say Christmas Eve at 3 p.m. you would say that. You can put a duration of an hour. Um, that's more to tell people how long your meeting is going to be. So since we have a free Zoom basic plan, you have a 40 minute time limit on meetings with three or more participants. If it was just a, a two person meeting, there's no limit. But three or more participants there are, they want to, they will ch charge you to get rid of that if you upgrade. Um, a little trick around that would just to be have a second meeting scheduled to set up with a second Zoom link and you could start a different meeting. Then you're going to want, um, if it is a reoccurring meeting that it happens like every Monday at the same time, you can click that, but it wouldn't be needed for this meeting on um, meeting ID, have it generate automatically and have it always have a passcode on. Um, since it is just family, I will I would uncheck waiting room because that means you would have to let every person in and sometimes if you're not familiar with Zoom it could be trickier for people. You can have the host and participants camera turn on for them automatically and then you can have meeting options allow participants to join at any time which is fine. Um, mute them on entry you could click that if you wanted record the meetings on a computer, or approve or block entry for users um, from specific regions or countries. And then you would hit save. Now you're going to want to invite your friends and family to the meeting. So here's a little meeting overview. Um, to copy an invitation for your family, you'll see invite link. This is a very important step. So you're going to want to click copy invitation and this whole box will come up and then you're going to click this blue button copy meeting invitation. It should say copy to clipboard right here. Then you hit the X and you can click out. Then you would open up your email. You would put your participants. You would copy and paste in your Zoom meeting link and that's what the people would click on to use to access your Zoom. You could just right click and hit paste or control V, whatever works for you. And you want to send that to your um, friends and family. So when it's Christmas Eve and you want to start your meeting, you're going to click over here on meetings again. And your most recent meeting will come up first. Now we're going to hit start. And since you're the person who sent the request, you're going to hit open Zoom meetings. Um, and you're the host of the meeting, you have to start the meeting. You're going to want to join with computer audio and then you can make it bigger. And there I am. You can click on participants and this window will come up with everyone's there. You can also have a chat where people can chat in the group, which is fun too. Um, to unmute your microphone is right here. When the cross is there, that means people can't hear you. To stop and start your video, you click here to start and stop. When you're ready to end your um, meeting, you could click it right here. And you can end meeting for all or leave. So if some of your family members wanted to leave, they could. Only the host has end meeting for all option. So um, since you are the host, you can end the meeting at any time. But none of your other family members could. They could only leave. So we're going to end the meeting for all of us. Here, click out of there. And then it says, congratulations on your first Zoom meeting. So it's kind of um, it's a great little tool. So don't forget, go to zoom.us. You just sign in. And then 
that meeting is over. You just hosted your first Zoom meeting, which is so much fun. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call the library. We're more than happy to talk you through them. Watch this video a few times and you'll be ready to invite your friends and family for a fun holiday get together. Stay safe and healthy over these holidays. Thanks all. Bye.